Hello everyone. Uh, I had a chance to visit Indian restaurant and then I was so impressed by flavor and then the richness of the taste and atmosphere and then uh, the people in the restaurant they were so so kind uh, the only menu I knew was uh, before visiting the restaurant was curry <laughs> but um, there are more and more and then um, the dish I ordered was uh, there was a tandoori chicken it's a kind of a spiced chicken but uh, it was so nice so good uh, so I decided to make the uh, kind of a simple uh, Indian restaurant website using ACC. So um, <clears throat> uh, please download the file I provided in the link. Um, so, uh, it's a kind of a, a Photoshop file, the basic layout of the page. And then it will be uh, kind of a, maybe a little bit complicated. But if you follow me step by step, uh, it, it is not that hard. Uh, it takes some time. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this is what we're going to make today. It's a simple website about Taj Mahal uh, Indian restaurant. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a real name of this restaurant, but um, this is the one I made up. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, let me refresh. Background is fading in, top banner is coming down, and then the five buttons. And then the first spot page is about page. Second page is ingredients, menu, dessert, and beverages. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> So first, please download the image I provided uh, from the link, which is this. Uh, this is a kind of a basic layout I made for this web page, website. Um, and there are multiple layers. So please download this. Okay. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to move, copy and paste each layer into an CC file onto each individual layer as well. So, open Animate CC, create new file. Okay, we're gonna use this under web category, uh, high resolution 960 by 640 and 24 frame rate, and just create it. I'm gonna change my um, viewing size 45%. Okay, so it's ready. Now back to Photoshop. Select all, and then I'm choosing my background layer. Let me copy Command C, and then back to Animate CC. Paste it. I'm gonna rename it as a BG background. So same way. Back to Photoshop, let me select the top banner, uh, kind of a circular banner things, layer, copy, and animate. Let me create new layer. This will be renamed as a top and paste it. Okay. I will repeat the same steps for the uh, next layers. Logo layer, copy, back to animate, new layer on top, and this layer will be named as a logo, and paste it. Just so set the position like that. And next, about button. So um, I have the five more buttons layer now. Copy. And animate. This will be named as about. Paste it. So set the position somewhere here for just for now. It's okay. Now Photoshop. Next button ingredients. Copy. 
new layer ingredients paste it somewhere here next menu the third button copy and new layer menu layer buttons layer paste it somewhere here okay and photoshop dessert copy make a new layer menu layer oh no i'm sorry it's a dessert paste it and the last beverages copy and back to animate new layer beverages and paste it okay so we're almost there um and then um let's do this select your the um, uh, the menu the the third one in the center i'm gonna open my uh, alignment panel check the align to stage and let me just center it oh it is center oh i'm accurate <laughs> and then i'm going to uh reposition this logo so um this taj mahal uh, the logo can be lined up with my the center button so that's the center which is okay okay now i'm going to set the position so i think it looks okay yeah looks fine okay and so on um, the basic layout is done background layer top banner logos and five buttons and each layer has each uh, element okay next step is before we apply any kind of a tweening for the animation we're going to uh, convert each image as a button because uh, for now as you can see that on your the properties panel this is not an any kind of image for um, the button yet this is just an image see that it's a bitmap so we're going to make this as a button so we can click on it so we can click on it and we can jump to uh, another page okay so select your very first one this is supposed to be about button select it uh, there are two different ways of converting your image or any element into as a symbol first one is under modify and convert to symbol we can do this or from the uh, animate cc 2020 version uh, there is a button in your properties panel convert to symbol button so either way is fine so if you're using uh all your version then 2020 you can go to modify and convert to symbol okay but um since i'm using 2020 i'm going to use this convert to symbol name will be uh about make sure the type is button not movie clip or not graphic just a button okay now go to library panel you can see the about button double click so about so my plan is uh uh we're going to change that when i move my um, um my mouse cursor over this image i want to have just a text like about ingredients menu dessert and beverages something like that okay so as you can see that there are only four frames in the uh, button symbol up over down and hit up is original over when i roll over it may change something down when i click it and hit is a something different i'm going to explain it later so on um, off frame over frame down frame, i'm going to keep everything the same so select the down frame and insert the keyframe by clicking this okay now add a new layer as i told you i'm going to have a text when i move my mouse cursor 
over this image. So on over frame, please insert a keyframe by clicking this button. And then let me just type about. Just like, and let me just center it. So it's about button. So um, that means we're going to see this first. On off frame, we only see the image. And when I roll over, we're going to see the about. Okay. So let me go back to main scene. Now, this is a button. See? And also, there's one more thing. Before we go to the next button, please assign the instance name in this properties panel. Uh, instance is the copy of a symbol. So we can have multiple instances from one symbol, which is fine. And the reason we're assigning uh, the instance name is since we're going to assign some kind of a command like actions later. So we can click on it and we can say something onto it. So instance name will be for this time uh, about underscore DTN button. It doesn't have to be just like this. But um, uh, the important thing is when you assign the name, uh, please do not use any punctuation mark, any special character. Only special character or punctuation mark we can use is underscore. Because there are any other um, punctuation mark or special characters uh, can be understood as a kind of part of a script or a command. So just to be safe, use this. Okay, so this is done. Now next, this will be ingredients button. So same thing, select your image, click on this convert to symbol button. This time will be ingredients as a button. Okay, now Open the library panel. You can see the ingredients button. Double click on it. Same thing. Select the down frame. Insert the keyframe so we can keep the image. And then insert, uh, add a new layer on top. Highlight the over frame. Insert a keyframe. And then just to type the word. Second menu was ingredients I'm using this kind of a light gray because my background is kind of a little dark so let me just center it maybe somewhere here should be okay so ingredient button is done okay also in your properties panel assign the instance name underscore button okay next button that's the menu click on the convert to symbol button again and name it as a menu make sure the type is a button okay and now open the library see that menu buttons here menu Highlight the down frame, insert the keyframe so we can keep the same image and add a new layer on top and on over frame, insert the keyframe and now type menu. And like this. Okay. Now back to this menu button properties panel instance name menu underscore btn next that's the dessert convert to symbol as a button yes okay in the library open the button symbol down insert the keyframe Add a new layer on. So this is kind of a routine. And over frame, 
um, let me say um, insert the keyframe again and I'm gonna type the word desserts so I'm here, here yep looks good and then properties panel make sure instance name underscore btn and the last convert to symbol button that was beverages button okay library open beverages highlight the down frame insert the keyframe add a new layer on top highlight the over and insert the keyframe and type the word uh, beverages yep properties panel instance name underscore btn yeah so um i think now we're ready to move on i have a background layer five buttons top and the logo okay so from now uh we're going to animate it uh before we do that uh in your properties panel please change your frame rate down to 10 just a temporarily okay so my plan is i want to have as you as you saw it uh from preview uh we're gonna have fading in effect for the background but um since we're going to apply some kind of a, a tweening for each layer uh, we can do all layers at a time so select all layers and the insert create classic twin this time classic twin now you see that the um there are kind of a 10 frame segment for each layer it is not completed yet you can see that kind of dotted line here now insert the keyframe so uh, the twin is completed even though we change it nothing yet so we can make some changes in between 1 and 10 anything we like okay so um, first I'm going to change my frame rate uh, up to 24 again so we can have the better speed and smoother uh, animation so first my background I want to have a fading in effect so in order to uh, to do that make sure your playhead is on frame number one at the very beginning and click your image on your image on your stage now in the properties panel color effect i'm gonna change the alpha value so from zero so starting from the zero percent of alpha value up to 100 so it's a fading in yep now top layer i can change the alpha value again but i want to have a little bit different uh, so I want to move it to the top out of stage from the beginning so it will be coming down so background is fading in and this top banner is falling down okay now logo logo um, I want to make uh, changing some size and also changing the alpha value as well. So um, on frame number one, using this uh, free transform tool, hold down the shift key, make it smaller. Also, I'm gonna change the alpha value as well. So it's fading in and getting bigger. Okay now select all these uh the buttons at the very beginning make sure i'm choose my playhead is on frame number one select all five buttons layer 
and then this time I'm gonna open the, um, the transform panel uh, let me make it smaller like a 20% smaller also at the same time I'm gonna change the alpha value on frame number one down to zero so meaning it will be fading in and scaling up like this okay okay so the plan is uh, so this one is okay but uh, everything happens at a time so we can give some kind of more dynamics on this so excuse me my background layer is fading in which is okay we need some kind of a beginning now <coughs> excuse me I want to give some kind of a time gap for each layer so top layer um, I want to have it uh, once background is fading in then top banner is kind of coming in I mean they're falling down from the top so select the top layer now grab your the entire segment by uh, keep pressing this uh, mouse button and drag it up to frame number 20 don't worry about this white so background layers are fading in and top banner is falling down don't worry about yeah, this missing uh, background we're gonna fix it now next logo I want to have it after that as well so select the logo layer grab the entire segment <coughs> and drag it up to frame number 30 okay so now we have a buttons left five buttons uh, my buttons about button I want to have that once my logo is kind of completed so about layer select the entire segment and drag it up to 40 now next button ingredients this time I'm going to drag it up to 45 instead of 50 because what I want to do is I want to have my uh, first buttons kind of fading in and then second button is coming in like this like a domino game now menu drag it up to this time 50 oops dessert drag it up to 55 beverages up to 60 let me hit the return again yep so everything's working fine as I planned but the problem is everything's gone so I only see that kind of my last button only so I need to keep all other elements so uh, on the frame number 60 highlight the frame number 60 on your the, um, the, the dessert layer and then hold down the shift and click on the uh, frame number 60 on your background layer so we're selecting all frame number 60 except the top layer and then insert the keyframe see isn't it cool so background layers are fading in top banners falling down and my logo is kind of uh, uh, coming in and then each buttons uh, fading in and then uh, scaling up and setting the position again just like this okay I hope the, uh, it is working as you can see that on my on your screen uh, so far Okay, so next is uh, we're going to make the content for each menu. Uh, content for about page, content for ingredients, menu, dessert, and beverages. Okay, so let's create a new layer on top of everything. So new layer on top, and let me rename it as contents. And then uh, that content, first content will be uh, showing up 
uh, automatically once it reaches this complete layout. So on frame number 60, let me insert a keyframe by clicking this insert keyframe button. And I'm going to draw a uh, kind of a panel. I'm going to use this the rectangular primitive tool <coughs> because it has more control. So it will be about maybe this size. About this. Okay. And let me move it down. And then the field color will be white and the stroke color my favorite orange and the stroke weight maybe five. Yep, five is okay. And then I can keep this as it is, <clears throat> the right angle for all four corners or on the bottom of this properties panel, you can see that you can have a rounded corner options. So uh, if I enter like a 30 pixel radius, we can have this. Or it's up to you. You can have, you can control different kind of radius for each corner. Like 30 on top left corner and 30 on bottom right corner. Something like So it, it's up to you. I'm going to select all four corners the 30 radius. Okay. So we're going to use this as a kind of a basic uh, platform for each content, kind of a background panel. And then each panel will have uh, different kind of images. Okay. So uh, I'm going to assign about 10 frames per panel for each menu so from 60 to 69 uh, there will be a kind of contents about uh, about pages from 70 to 79 ingredients next 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 okay so from 60 to 69 let me insert just a frame insert timeline and frame just like this okay then I'm going to uh, have more of this so first let me make a copy of this rectangle rounded corner uh, command C copy and from 70 let me insert blank keyframe first and paste in place so I have the same one Okay, but they are different. So there are the kind of a two uh, rounded corner rectangle. Same looking, but they are different. Because I copied and pasted. This is kind of just a copy. Okay. And then from 70 to 79, insert frame. Now insert blank keyframe for the menu, the third one and paste in place again and 89 insert frame frame number 90 insert timeline blank keyframe edit paste in place and 99 insert frame so I have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we need one more. The last one for the beverage. Uh, insert timeline, blank keyframe, and 109. Insert, no, I'm sorry. And on the 100, edit, paste in place, and insert frame. Okay, so it looks the same. Uh, what I did, I just made some kind of a background panel, just like this, for each panel. I mean, that for each menu. Okay. So it looks kind of a little weird because uh, we lose everything. So uh, I want to keep everything. So um, uh, highlight the frame 109 on your uh, beverage menu layer. And scroll down, hold down the shift, 
and select the 109 on background layer and insert the keyframe so we keep everything in the same spot okay so it looks good so far okay okay so first let's create the content for the about page which is this one okay and then uh, once we complete this other pages uh, will be the same uh, the process is the same we will just uh, change the content so first select your rectangle this is the first panel first rectangle okay then we're going to convert this as a symbol as a movie clip symbol this time so we can animate uh, kind of a, something about the on this panel okay so select it and then like we did for the buttons go to the properties panel there's the same button convert to symbol or you can go to modify and convert to symbol either way is okay so I'm gonna click this convert to symbol this will be as a movie clip symbol and then I will name it as about underscore content okay now double click you see the hierarchy on top left corner this is the main stage scene number one when we double click it we are on about underscore content movie clip symbols editing window okay so I'm gonna make some changes uh, first let me change the um, uh, the frame rate temporarily down to 10 like we did then insert create classic twin insert the keyframe at the very beginning I want to uh, make it a little bit smaller maybe like this okay also at the same time I want to change the, um, the color effects alpha value from 0 to 100 so this background panel will be kind of expanding and fading in but 100% is kind of too much uh, let me change the alpha value uh, on second keyframe like 40% so starting from 0 and 40% so we can see through the background and on frame number 15 I'm gonna keep it just as it is okay it's okay now now add new layer on top so once this background panel is fading in and expanding on frame number 10 I want to have a text and the images so first highlight the frame number 10 insert a keyframe then let me type about uh, this is too small maybe a 30 point type size Havatica Havatica is okay uh, maybe bold and in black so this is about page okay and then let me uh, import the image um, I said one image uh, from Google for each menu I mean each page about that JPEG and then it is here about okay about and I want to have some kind of a text uh, this time let me use the um, uh, the dummy text uh, so uh, on 
I just have yeah, found yeah, this lorem ipsum um, dummy text and I'm gonna copy this first paragraph copy and then back to animate CC and let me draw static text text box here uh, is too big and it's too bold just a regular and maybe 14 and let me paste it command V okay so the text is just a dummy text is a placeholder text but uh, which is okay and then what I'm gonna do is the background panel is fading in and expanding and then uh, my about text and the images uh, there kind of just pops up so which is not good so I want to have some fading in effect so let me select all of them click on this keyframe where you have about title image and the paragraph and then click on your stage insert create classic twin and on 15 insert the keyframe and then at the very beginning click on your uh, the three about uh, and then um, about image and then paragraph I'm gonna change the color effect the alpha value from 0 to 100 0 to 100 so background panel is fading in expanding and then once it sets the size and the location and then uh, your text and images fading in like this okay there's one more if we just uh, keep leave it just as it is what's going to happen is this content will be just looping over and over and over and again uh, forever that's the nature of this uh, animation so we need to say stop on frame number 15 so um it doesn't repeat so select a uh, place there your place uh playhead on 15 here and then go to windows menu open code snippets uh, html5 canvas timeline navigation and the very first one stop at this frame we're going to apply this by double clicking see so this stop Now you're going to see that kind of a, a lowercase a, meaning there is an action. So first one is done. Same way. Uh, so you're, you're not seeing that because yeah, we changed the alpha value at the very beginning. I'm going to repeat the same steps for my uh, the second, third, fourth, and the last one. So um, this is my second one, ingredients page. Select the image. So uh, I'm repeating the same steps. So repetition, repetition, repetition. Yep, that's my favorite kind of proverb. Repetition is a mother of knowledge. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, convert to symbol. This time, this is in ingredients underscore uh, content as a movie clip. Okay, so now this is a movie clip as you can see here and then double click I'll repeat the same steps select the first keyframe insert create classic twin keyframe and let me change the size also let me change the alpha value starting from oops I did the opposite I'm sorry change the size on the very first keyframe also alpha value from 0 to nothing and from 0 to 40 percent that's what we did alpha 40 and then we added five more frames so it stays there 
insert another keyframe. Now add a new layer for the content, main contents. So on frame number 10, insert the keyframe and I'm going to type the title uh, that was 30 point type size Havarika uh, bold uh, let me type ingredients somewhere here okay and then let me import the image to the library which is this time ingredients.jpg this one so from the library panel ingredients.jpg so drag and drop somewhere here okay and also I'm going to draw uh, have that kind of the lorem ipsum uh, the dummy text so Havarika regular and 14 point type size that's what I set here and paste it so lorem ipsum okay. so this is just a placeholder text also at the same time the very beginning of your my uh, the second top layer on frame number 10 insert create classic twin on 15 insert a keyframe and then on frame number 10 select your ingredients content and change the alpha value starting from 0 to 100 so the background is expanding and fading in and then my uh, main content is fading in next one is inserting the actions go to window code snippets make sure your playhead on the frame number 15 the last frame uh, HTML5 canvas timeline navigation stop at this frame double click so that's it back to this so two contents there's nothing because we start from the 0% of alpha value so, but it's there now third menu same way select your rectangle convert to symbol I'm going to rename it as a menu underscore content menu content as a movie clip okay now double click on it uh, insert create classic twin insert a keyframe at the very beginning let me change the size and the alpha value at the same time starting from 0% ending at 40% of alpha value and add one more uh, five more frames insert a keyframe okay now insert the, uh, the uh, add a new layer on top on frame number 10 insert a keyframe now Havarika bold again 30 point, uh, 30 point type size I'm going to type the menu somewhere here and then let me import the image to the library which is menu.jpg this from the library menu.jpg here okay now I need a content back to regular Havarka and 14 point type size and let me draw the text box and paste it also on frame number 10 on top frame insert classic tween insert the keyframe and I want to have a fading in so click on your content from the state on your stage 
color effect alpha starting from 0 to 100 and add the action by opening the code snippets HTML5 canvas timeline and stop at this frame double click so number three is down now number four this which is the other dessert convert to symbol as dessert underscore content as a movie clip okay and double click so now you can see that it's a kind of a routine i'm repeating the the same steps over and over and again maybe five times for now okay now insert create classic tween insert a keyframe and on frame number one using the end this free transform tool let me change the size also change the alpha value from 0 to 40 percent of alpha value and add five more frames insert another keyframe now add a new layer for the content on frame number 10 insert the keyframe I'm going to type the title a vertical bold and then a 30 point type size this time uh, the title is uh, in uh, this is a dessert and let me import the image to the library that was dessert open from the library dessert jpeg so somewhere here now i need a dummy text back to um, regular vodka and 40 point uh, 14 point and let me draw the text box and paste it and on frame number 10 insert classic tween frame number 15 keyframe on frame number 10 select your content on your stage click on it and change the alpha value from 0 to 100 like this next one is under windows menu open code snippets make sure your playhead is on frame number 15 here so code snippets so we can stop on that frame uh, HTML5 canvas timeline navigation stop at this frame double click okay now we have just one more to go which is beverages convert to symbol by clicking this beverages underscore content as a movie clip symbol then double click repeating the same steps insert create classic tween insert a keyframe back to the beginning choose the free transform tool make it smaller change the alpha value down to zero and up to 40 percent and add five more frames and insert the keyframe okay add a new layer on top on frame number 10 insert the keyframe now typed uh, the title of this page vertical bold again and 30 point type size i'm gonna type beverages and then let me import beverage images to library which is this from the library and beverage dot where are you 
JPEG. Okay, now we need a, a dummy text. I've got like a regular again and 14 point type size. And let me draw text block and paste it. Okay. Now highlight the first keyframe. Insert, create classic twin, keyframe, and back to frame number 10. Click on your content, then color effect alpha from 0 to 100. Okay. Then we're going to need to say stop. Under Windows menu, code snippets, HTML5, timeline navigation, select the stop at this frame and double click. Yeah, so it's done. So uh, let me test the movie. It will look weird for now. Oh, sorry. Let me change the uh, frame rate back to 24. Test the movie. Looks good. Five times and back to the beginning. So this will keep happening. So what we need to do is we need to say something now. So first, once my um, uh, background and all five buttons fading in on 60 and then this will present my first about content and needs to stop on 69 frame number 69 right before the second content begins which is uh, frame number 70 here so place the, your playhead on 69 and go to insert no uh, Windows menu, open code snippets, HTML5, timeline, and stop at this frame again. Double click. Okay, so let's take a look. Preview. See? About. It is working. Okay, now what we need to do is uh, we need to say stop on every end frame of each category, each page. So meaning 69, 79, 89, 99, and 109. So let's do that. Place your playhead on 79, which is the, uh, the last frame of my second uh, ingredient page window code snippets HTML5 canvas timeline navigation stop at this frame so double click it's done now the last frame of my third page which is menu page and the frame number 89 here window uh, code snippets HTML5 timeline navigation stop at this frame and double click okay and 99 the last frame of my fourth page go to window code snippets HTML5, timeline navigation, and stop at this frame and double click. And the last, 109. Window, code snippets, HTML5 canvas, timeline, stop at this frame. Yeah. So it should work. So let me test the movie.
It's beautiful. But the problem is my buttons, they do not have any function yet. They are not linked yet. So what we need to do is we just need to add more action, uh, five more actions on each um, button. So uh, there's just one action per button. So it's pretty simple. So first, before we add action, we need to know uh, where the each page begins. So um, my uh, about page begins on 60. My uh, second page begins on 70, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So place your playhead on frame number 60. Select about button, your first button. And go to window, open code snippets, HTML5 canvas, timeline navigation. This time we're going to choose click to go to frame and play. So double click. So once we click on this, uh, this animate CC will bring us to certain numbers of frame. This case, 60. Because 60, frame number 60 is the first keyframe of my first about page. Go to and play. And let me do the same thing for my second button. This time we're going to aim frame number 70 because that's the beginning of my second page. Go to window, code snippets, HTML5 canvas, timeline, click to go to frame and play. This time go to and play on 70. Now, third, select your third menu button, window, code snippets, HTML5, timeline, click to go to frame and play, and go to 80. Fourth one, this is the uh, dessert. Window, code snippets, HTML5, uh, timeline navigation. We're going to jump to frame number 90. The last one. Window, code snippets, HTML5, timeline navigation. Click to go to frame and play. We need to jump to 100. So it's all done. Okay, let's take a look. Command return to preview your movie. So this is frame number 69. We stopped here. So when I click on this now ingredients, it will jump to uh, the, the very beginning of my first and the second uh, the page, which is ingredients. Beginning on 70, frame number 70, and it will stop on at the end of 79. Ingredients. Same way, menu, dessert, and beverages. Back to about. Okay. Isn't it cool? It, it's pretty simple website. And then the text is just the, um, the dummy text. Just a placeholder. But uh, this is a kind of idea of making a really simple website using Animate CC 2020. Uh, the process is, I don't know, it's a kind of a little bit, uh, you may feel kind of a little bit, um, complicated but um, actually it is not we are repeating the same step uh, it takes some time and labor okay so thanks for watching and then if you have any questions uh, if it doesn't work uh, please let me know um, and then also um, um, 
it will be uh, appreciated uh, if you can subscribe and uh, like this page and uh, set the alarm uh, so you can uh, notify it if I when I have any kind of new content new videos okay thank you and have a good night